So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now, I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very in-depth build that I made a whole video on previously. I'll briefly describe the build after I show you the location of today's Lost Sector. The exotic armor in rotation today is Chest. Today we'll be clearing with just one class, but there are builds for all three classes in the description. And with that out of the way, what's good guys, it's Zen, thanks for choosing my channel, and let's hop right into today's guide. Alright, now today's Lost Sector, we're going to be dealing with Barrier and Overload Champions. Now with that in mind, we're going to be using my Infinite Grenade build with Shinobu's Vow and Arc Hunter. For our weapons, we're going to be using Wishender, a Trice Rifle, and the Rocket. Now Wishender is here due to the heavy damage it does and the fact that it stuns Barrier Champions. The Trace Rifle is here to deal with the Overload Champions in this Lost Sector, and the Rocket is here due to the arc surge lasting all season giving it heavy heavy damage now guys there is so much going on with this build that i simply cannot fit in this video but with it we have four second grenade cooldowns now i highly recommend checking out the build in the description before watching this video but the gameplay itself will convince you how truly good it is so with that being said let's hop right into the guide all right so the first thing we're gonna do is enter this room obviously and we're gonna throw our grenade and as you can see we just threw two grenades and we already have one recharge because this build is amazing now what we're trying to do here is just clear this room out of all the ads and then what's going to happen from that point is the barrier champion is going to spawn in now you see i am just over pushing right now i'm taking a bunch of damage but it doesn't really matter because my ad clear is just absolutely amazing i take damage sure but everything also dies in the process now one thing that's great about this build is the more ads that we clear out before the barrier spawns the less ads the barrier is going to be making immune we hit it with our rocket for some quick damage now after you stun it it's going to stop making things immune so at that point you saw me just throw my grenade to clear out the ads and then we clean up the barrier with the wish ender and the finisher now the second this door opens it's going to be these two dregs on the left side and there's going going to be couples uh, shanks on the right side along with the drag. We take care of them really, really easily with our grenades. Grab those orbs because that's going to give us some grenade energy. And now we have these four adds on the ground. We're just going to snipe them since our grenade's not charged. Then we throw another grenade. And then the second you jump down, you see on the right side, these melee adds are going to come out. And there's going to be two on the left side, two dregs. Now in this room, there are a couple things to look out for. Mainly, what the first thing you're going to want to do is take care of those snipers in the back that I'm aiming at right now. I believe there's three or four of them. And then also these guys on the left side are super annoying. But what I like to do is whenever I can, I like to grab this position because the thing about here is there's usually like four dregs standing in the back where I'm currently standing. If you take too long, they'll be standing here. Um, and then the thing about it is after we clear out enough adds, a barrier champion is going to spawn from the back room where those snipers were. And if we leave those adds where, that I was previously talking about, they're going to run over to the barrier and the barrier is going to make them immune. So that's going to be super annoying. So that's why I like to grab this position as early as possible. Another thing that's great about this position is it just gives you an optimal angle on all of the adds, all of the snipers standing in the left side and in the back. So we're just going to stun the barrier champion and throw our super and what's that? what that's going to do is it's obviously going to kill all of the adds that the barrier was previously making immune plus we have the arc surge lasting all season so it's going to absolutely obliterate the barrier champion. Now this lost sector is very very difficult but like I've said time and time again with this build it just becomes so damn easily. I mean we just absolutely speed ran these first two rooms and I, I would... I would I would speculate that if you're not running this build and you're like an average player, you're going to struggle. It's going to be like four, maybe even five minutes. But if you follow these tips, use this build, you guys are going to have a great time. Now, the second you enter this room, I didn't commentate it, but there's going to be those two shotguns. I'm sure you guys saw it. So you're going to want to preemptively throw a grenade. And then we have our grenades with the jolt and that stunned the overload champion with us now the combination of our rockets is going to take care of them really easily and then we're going to clear out this room with the grenades wow we're just moving so quick it's hard to commentate over it we're going to throw another grenade and that's going to clear adds and stun the overload champion we're going to dodge to fire two rockets in quick succession and we're going to use overload to clean up the rest now at this point in time we are already in the boss room so what we're going to have to do is clear out as many ads as possible before the boss actually spawns so that's going to be the dregs so what i like to do is i like to stand on this right side and what that does is there are a bunch of ads on the left side sure but when you stand over here they'll actually push over to you so you don't need to really worry about those left side ads at all as long as you just stand right where I'm standing and clear these guys then the boss will actually spawn all the ads will move toward you and that's gonna be fantastic but we are just absolutely making quick work of them because again we just have these infinite nades now after you clear enough of these drags there's gonna be a bunch of shank ads that spawn I don't believe oh actually yep two of them are gonna be snipers gonna want 
want to take care of those guys really, really quickly. And then the Heavy Shank, this guy's a pushover. He has more health than the others, but he still dies very, very quickly. And now we have procced the boss to spawn. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I mean, we're going to aim our rockets at it. We have our super, and that is fantastic. So we're going to start with the rockets. And the thing about this boss is he likes to teleport around. So we're going to throw our super at his face. Got the nice unicorn effect going on through the horn in his face and when he teleports around the super damage is going to stay on top of him and then what's going to happen is more ads are going to spawn Now the thing about this boss is his teleport locations can be unpredictable like typically he would rotate to the right side first but he was actually right underneath us for some reason super weird but just take note of that just be aware that he can teleport around now we're going to take care of that servitor because the servitor can actually make the boss immune and then we are just absolutely melting him. When we reach a certain damage threshold, a barrier champion is going to spawn. We're going to have to take care of the barrier because that obviously can also make the boss immune. And it usually does. It usually sits right next to the boss. So when that spawns, we're going to have to take care of it with our wish ender. But right now, we only have one rocket left. We're going to want to save that for the barrier. So what we're going to do is just snipe with our wish ender. Now, this Lost Sector, although it can take a while if you're not using this build, it is still really easy because there is cover everywhere. Now, unfortunately, most of these ads have insane range, but if you just sit behind cover, you guys are going to have an easy time, you know what I mean? So, now the Barrier Champion has spawned, and we're going to slow chip it down with our Wish Ender. It will take a while, but not too long, because, again, guys, if you don't know, I've said this so many times, Wish Ender does more damage than Arbalest. If you guys don't have it, go get it. This weapon is absolutely meta. I mean, there's just no reason to use Arbalest when this exists. It's literally Arbalest, but better and infinite ammo. Like, it's just ridiculous. So, we took care of the Buried Champion. I said it would take a while, but we took care of him in, what, like 20 seconds there? And at this point in time, we have our Super. So, we're going to throw that at the boss, and that is going to be the Lost Sector, guys. Now, I'm going to say do not farm, but if you're using this build, it's going to be a very, very easy farm for you today. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Hopefully, this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.